reportedly set to begin raids in 10 cities across the U.S. starting tomorrow. The president weighing in earlier this morning tweeting, the people that ICE will apprehend have already been ordered to be deported. This means that they have run from the law and run from the courts. These are people that are supposed to go back to their home country. They broke the law by coming into the country and now by staying. But several sanctuary city mayors are already vowing to resist. Here to react is direct, direct, retired ICE director and Fox News contributor Tom Holman. Tom, thanks for being here this morning. The president says if you're a double lawbreaker, you got to go. These mayors resisting, Tom. The president's exactly right. Look, I've read in several news accounts and these mayors talking about terrorizing innocent immigrant communities. Do not terrorize the innocent immigrant communities. They're arresting illegal aliens by definition of law who enter this country in violation of law that was, that was ordered deported by a federal judge. So the men and women of ICE don't arrest innocent people. They don't terrorize innocent immigrant communities. They don't arrest innocent people. They're doing their job. And as far as these marriage, these sanctuary cities, I just wish they shut their mouths. Because you want to talk about separation of families, the separation of families are the angel moms and dads who've been separated from their children forever because a criminal alien walked out of your sanctuary jail. Every one of those mayors ought to be ashamed. San Francisco, New York, Chicago, I'm going on and on. Oakland mayor giving a heads up on a criminal operation. And they're going to talk about ICE separating families. I'm disgusted. You know, this, and the story in Washington Post yesterday got me off. I mean, I'm telling you, the men and women of ICE deserve better than this. Mm. Tom, let's look at what some of those mayors are actually saying on resisting these raids. You have Oakland Mayor Libby Schaaf, know your rights and to use your local resources. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot, CPD will not cooperate with or facilitate any ICE enforcement actions. And of course, my personal favorite, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, a sick plot to tear families apart and force immigrants into the shadows. You know, Tom, I, this is outrageous to me that they're saying things like this. I mean, they make it as if they're talking about law-abiding abiding citizens here. You're talking about people who came into the country illegally, who then defied the court. At what point do we just stop caring about the law at all? Maybe we should just advocate openly, as some of these Democrats are, for lawlessness and just, and just have that be our new platform. Well, look, if, if we don't do, if they don't do operations like this, if they don't, if they don't carry out the judge's, I mean, the judge's order, there'd be no integrity in the entire system. It means nothing. There's no consequence, no deterrence. They can keep coming across the border. If you bring a kid, you won't be detained. If you bring a kid, you won't be arrested, even though a judge tells you to, to remove yourself. I mean, there'd be no integrity in the system. And I tell you what, these mayors aren't the only ones resisting ICE. you got the acting secretary of Homeland Security resisting what ICE is trying to do. Yeah. In the Washington Post story, in numerous media outlets, he does not support this operation. And I tell you what, if that's, if that's his position, then he's on the wrong side of this issue. You don't tell the men, men and women of ICE a day before they go out there and do this operation. Look, this story was leaked. They gave the locations of the cities, the day they were supposed to start, how many targets. This leak, which I know where the leak came from, I think we all know where the leak came from, that story only benefits one person, put these officers at greater risk of harm. I know the president said we're going to do an operation with a million people in a week. He didn't give the location, he didn't give the dark state, he didn't give the number of targets. Yeah. And the men and women of ICE need to understand that, first of all, please be careful. Be careful, do your job, be professional, and please go home at the end of that day. So be careful, God bless you. But know this, there may not be some people that, that support you, but the president of the United States has your six. And I know that because I've spoken to the President of the United States. He supports what you're doing. Be proud. Enforce the laws enacted by Congress. Do your oath. And please be safe. Well, good advice, Tom. And obviously, we want the federal officials to be safe as they ca carry out their jobs. It's what they've signed up for, the service to our country, to try and enforce our laws. But I could see in your voice and in your face, frankly, how fired up you are about this. Um, what the critics are saying is that you and others are trying to instill fear in these communities, how do you react to that? If you know, if you're in the, if you're in the, if you violate laws of this country, enter the country illegally, and you've been ordered removed by a judge, and you didn't leave, you need to be concerned. You should be looking over your shoulder. Just like if I speed down the highway 100 miles an hour, I'm worried I'm going to get a ticket. If I lie in my taxes, I'm worried I'm going to get audited. If you enter this country intentionally and violate our laws, number one crime, then you ignore a judge's order. If you and I ignore the judge's order, we'd be sitting in jail. You need to be worried. So it isn't instilling fear, it's enforcing the law. That's what this is. It's nothing more than that. And, and the reason I'm so upset, because I have buried ICE agents. Mm. I have buried Border Patrol agents. 
They don't need this added pressure put on them. They don't need, you know, the, 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 the leaks that have happened. They don't need that. And for, you know, Libby Schaff and, and the mayor of New York City, shame on you. These men and women strap a gun to the hip every day to protect this community. 90% of everybody ICE arrests has a criminal history or a criminal conviction. These men and women are American patriots. Tom. And shame on anybody that wants to leak a story and put these people at greater risk. Yeah. Tom, I think so many Americans out there well understand said. why you're fired up. They're fired up too. And no one's fired up more than legal immigrants who came to this country, followed the laws, followed the rule of law. And now it's like they're being, you know, people are laughing in their faces saying, oh, you didn't have to. You would have gotten away with it anyway. It's disgraceful. So Tom thanks Holman, for being thank here. I appreciate you. your Tom, energy. Thank on you. This. Great stuff. Yeah. I appreciate your service. Well, before